For many PREDICT-K projects, you will want to compare the model results against actual well production results. Also, when running the model under production control, some actual or projected production information is required to control the model. All of this information is added in the Production Data tab in Production Analysis mode. This training video will demonstrate how to work with this screen and improve PREDICT-K results by using more realistic drawdown schedules. I've already expanded the Production Data tab and some of the columns to make sure everything is visible on the screen. The Production Data tab is essentially just a table for inputting well data that is very similar to Excel. Columns can be expanded by hovering over the boundary between two columns until two vertical lines surrounded by arrows appear. Then, click and drag to the desired size. If you hover over the center of one of the title columns, you can click and the left side of the column will show a bold black line. This action allows you to change the order of the columns. When you move your mouse to the left or the right, the bold line will move, showing the new location for the column. We will use this feature later to rearrange the columns and make inputting the data a little easier. When using the Production Data tab, only two of the columns are required. You will always need to fill in the days as cumulative production time. The other required column is the production control variable, which could be wellhead pressure, bottom hole pressure, or percent drawdown depending on your choice for flow control under model parameters. As a caution, it is important to ensure that the bottom hole flowing pressure input is always lower than the input reservoir pressure because the PREDICT-K model will automatically stop if the bottom hole pressure is higher than the reservoir pressure. The remaining columns on this tab will only be used for comparison purposes and may appear in some graphs and reports. To demonstrate the use of production data in PREDICT-K, I will be using two files that are posted along with these videos. The first is a base PREDICT-K file called Production Data Example File, which I have open right now. The second is an Excel file named Simulated Production Data. The production file contains a table with 180 days of artificial production data. The bottom hole pressure starts with a drawdown of 1000 PSI with flowing pressure declining at a moderate rate of 100 PSI per day for the first 20 days and 50 PSI per day after that point until flowing pressure drops to 2000 PSI. The production rate is based on an exponential decline with a QI of 2000 and a decline rate of 0 .004. Everything is set up in the PREDICT-K file except for the production data. To start, I will reorder the columns to match the available production file. The columns need to be in order time, bottom hole pressure, gas rate, and cumulative gas rate. The remaining columns are unimportant because that data is not given. It is also important to ensure that the units from the production file in PREDICT-K match each other, which they do in this case. Once the columns are in order, copy the production data without labels. Then, click on the top left cell in PREDICT-K. Be sure a dotted outline surrounds the first column. If a blinking line appears, you will not be able to paste. Press Ctrl-V to paste the data into PREDICT-K. The cumulative production and rate graphs will update based on the new data. Cumulative production will only display if it is provided. PREDICT-K does not calculate cumulative production from the input gas rates. With the flow control variable defined and the production data input for comparison, you can now run the model by pressing the Perform Analysis button at the bottom left corner of the screen. If the simulation period is longer than the input data, it will use the last bottom hole pressure provided for the remainder of the simulation. Since the input production data we used is from a decline curve, the match is not perfect. A better match can be obtained with slight input changes, but that will be discussed in other training videos. For now, you should have the tools to bring your own production data into PREDICT-K for comparison against the PREDICT-K model. Thank you for viewing this training video, and please contact me at stephen.dryley at corelab.com if you have any questions.